So in the last video, we imported this train from Blender and we'd broken it up into several chunks. And we did that so that we can use the built-in uh, occlusion culling that Unity provides. So in order to do that, uh, we need to mark everything as static. So we can choose the parent object, come over here to static and press the toggle button. It's gonna ask us if we want to uh, change the static flags for all the children. Yes, we do. Um, that'll make all of them static. And then we come up to window and we look down for occlusion colon. It's gonna open up a new um, window over here next to our inspector. Um, you can adjust the settings. Um, you can uh, look at another tutorial for those settings. And basically smallest occluder, that's the smallest thing that's gonna block. Um, and the holes, I don't remember exactly what the holes do. Um, but what we wanna do is press bake and this is gonna take a little bit. Um, depends how many things you have in your scene, um, how big your terrain is. Um, but you can see as it's drawing all these little cubes, it's calculating what can be seen in each of those areas so that it can turn off certain meshes. This is something you'd wanna do um, once you start adding in other things such as trees or buildings. Um, you'd wanna include those in your uh, occlusion culling. The more objects that you have marked as static, the longer this will take. Um, this is pretty quick. Sometimes this can be a 10 or 20 minute calculation. Um, I can imagine if you have a highly detailed scene, it could be even higher than that. Now that's all done. Uh, you can see that my scene view has changed. Um, several of the uh, meshes are now turned off and that has to do with where my player is and where my camera is. Um, you can also see down here that we've got uh, some new occlusion uh, data. Um, it was about two and a half megabytes, pretty small. Um, if you want to clear it or bake it, you can do that. Um, let me uh, see if I can make this work here. I split my screen and push play. As I rotate my camera, Unity is turning the train on and off. If you notice the uh, vert in my statistics there, you can see the vert count is down around about a million. Okay. And it changes depending on what I'm looking at. If I'm looking at these hills, I can't see very much, so almost the entire terrain is turned off. Pretty clever. Uh, other thing to note, uh, occlusion culling um, in Unity will uh, only work, well, let me say that again, uh, occlusion culling in the editor will only work if the occlusion tab is open. Um, if I close this out, you'll notice, or even just change, you'll notice that uh, the occlusion culling stops working. Um, that's a non-issue when you make a build, but it is an issue when you're playtesting in the uh, editor.